You guys have been learning about Jim Davis this week, the um, cartoonist that created Garfield, which is the most popular comic strip and has been for quite a long time. So our art project for our notebook is going to be to create our own comic strip. And these, um, this sheet of paper is the PDF that I attached in the resource section. And if you want to use this to sketch out some of your ideas, you could print this off at home. If you're not able to print it, don't worry, just get some scrap paper and draw some boxes and um, work out your comic strip and boxes before you do your final uh, project in your notebook. I believe it's step two in the, um, you know, how to create a comic strip uh, video that I attached that says um, think about your surroundings um, think about things that are familiar to you you know uh, what it's like in your home or something else that you're always at maybe what it's like at HSA or if you have a job at a job maybe just start doodling some things around that think of some scenarios remember that your cartoon or excuse me your comic strip can t be telling a story. It doesn't actually have to be funny, although that's great if you think of something funny. So when I was um, brainstorming on what to do, I was sitting thinking about you know some of the things that are going on in my day-to-day -day life. Um, a lot of my time is taken up during the day doing household chores and stuff, and I was trying to think, oh, if I draw a comic strip about laundry, that's not going to be very funny. <laughs> what kind of story is that going to tell? But um, I kept thinking about what I do, oh, grocery shopping. And I said, well, maybe I could write something about how every time I go to the store, uh, it seems like no matter what, when I get home, I realize I forgot something. Maybe I could make a comic strip about that. And then I was thinking about cooking and baking and um I remembered a time that our Puggle, so she's a small dog, um, snuck up on the freshly baked chocolate chip cookies and she got her little paws up on the table and with her long tongue she was licking on the chocolate chip cookies that were sitting on the table to cool. Um, little did I know. I thought I caught her and shoot her away before she had got to taste any cookies. But what happened was, after the cookies had cooled, we all went to get some cookies, and um, we're all done. I'm like, okay, hey, did you guys like the cookies? Yeah. And one of my sons said, yeah, but my cookie was all wet. And so I thought, that might be a funny thing to write a comic strip about. I might just try to go in, in with just three squares. We'll see. You're not limited to four. You can do as many as you need to. Um, I'm going to work out that a little bit and see if I can turn that into a comic strip, that story. And um, I'm going to pause this, work on it. I'll show you what I made. And if you're um, stuck, you can um, start maybe just doodling, like things that you like or your pets or um, animals that you like or your little baby cousin or something that's things that are familiar to you and as you're just drawing some things maybe some memories are going to come up or some thoughts about how you could tell a story or, or how you could recap something funny that happened um so i will meet you back here as soon as i'm done sketching out my ideas okay so i have my comic strip roughed out here um i got to thinking about how i could tell this little story with the least amount of panels um I didn't want to keep going on and on with lots of boxes. And my first thought was to draw myself baking the cookies in the kitchen. And then I thought, well, I don't need that to tell the story. I could just start out with our dog. And I have him thinking, I smell cookies, you know, and I'm trying to draw cookies here. And then the next square, um, she's reaching up on the table and she's mm, trying to get those cookies. So I got to look on how to make my little dog look nicer, more like a cartoon. I'm going to redraw that. And then um, I skipped this one. So I think I'll just make three squares. 
And at the last part, I just put myself, how are the cookies, kids? Good, but why is my cookie wet? Um, and I'll probably just leave it at that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, now that I know I just need the three boxes, I'll draw three boxes in my notebook and I will transfer what I've done here a little bit neat, neater into my notebook and probably uh, when I get it looking the way I want, I'll outline it in black so it's more like a comic strip and then you are free to color yours too if you want to. So I will show you how that looks when it's done. So what I did was I had this drawn in pencil first, then I outlined it with some black um, ink, you know, black a black like fine line marker, and I put a few um, captions at the bottom just to help the story out, and uh, then I erased all my pencil lines. I did a little bit of color just because I had a a golden uh, color that's like the color of Maisie, and there we go. Okay, my comic strip is done. I even titled it. Um, just so you know, in the notebook that I had, these boxes are about four inches um, wide, just a little bit less, and about three inches tall. So that worked out pretty good to make three boxes in my notebook, but you could do whatever amount of boxes you need to tell your story. So I am finished and I'm looking forward to seeing yours.